Good evening and welcome to Androids and Aliens. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Ellie's FaceTime Cam, Skid's Dungeon, and Joe's Murder Room. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a yeah, it's been a warm up, so to speak. <laughs> it's been a hell of a tech check. All I see is a white forehead talking to me. That's all I see. A blinding white forehead. This is why you never tell Troy any of your insecurities. I can't see it. Now I just see white knuckles. No, stop it. It's blinding. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Shine some of that light on the skid's face. Oh my God. <laughs> Can you move amazing. your knuckles just so, so it'll hit the moon and land wherever skid is at? Damn it. Oh skid, God. where are you? A college dorm? I'm in a Motel 6 in Anchorage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping the police sirens don't bother people. They've, they've been gone, been quiet for the last 20 minutes back for multiple reasons. <laughs> In Anchorage. <laughs> oh, and Joe, where are you? This this is a murder room, right? If there wasn't a window there, I would assume a murder room. Uh, no, I'm in Oklahoma. I am I am visiting family in Oklahoma, and this is uh, where I sleep in this tiny oh. room. Oh, that's back nice. Here. Yeah. It's where oh, they no. keep the in-laws. What did, you, what did you as do? As custom. <laughs> I married into the family. I guess that was my crime. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I mean, you don't sleep next to... <gasps> You're not allowed to sleep next to your wife in like your... <laughs> no, 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 no. Not here, no. no. I'm not in Oklahoma. <laughs> I've heard about Oklahoma. <laughs> it's not really a marriage until it's 10 years old in Oklahoma. <laughs> right. They're very, very traditional people. <laughs> <laughs> the husband sleeps in a crawl space for the first six years and then and only then do they consummate the marriage uh, it's the American way it's so pure I love it <laughs> oh man um, Sydney where are you I'm back in my apartment, baby. Uh, yeah. I wasn't in it for a bit. It's nice to be home. Except my cat, you can't see it, um, has sprawled entirely on my keyboard and mouse. So if I suddenly zip out, uh, you'll know it was my cat, not me. See, I politely uh, ask my cat to leave and don't eat during streams. So uh, oh. I don't have that problem. Wow. Oh, I don't I was do either of that. I don't know either of those problems. And, uh, <laughs> I thought these were all you could eat streams. Yeah, wait. I, I, I was, I I was the Yeah, what the heck was the oh, the entry fee for then if I can't just eat the whole time? Do you guys remember when all you can eat was something you were excited about? <laughs> yeah. As a teenager, if senior year uh, in, in high school, if you had last period free, you were allowed to leave campus as long as you came back for a uh, homeroom or something at the end of the day. You couldn't just fuck off. So uh, we would leave and we would drive uh, on Route 1. Uh, we would drive to the hometown buffet, it was called. And we thought it was the greatest thing ever. Just, all you can eat for 13 bucks. And we would just pig out and go back to school. Uh, oh, what are we doing to ourselves? Yep. Uh, do you guys remember that? Like Chinese buffets? Yeah. What the hell were we doing at Chinese to, buffets? <laughs> no, they're still Nick great. Sheldon. I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> Nick Sheldon, our friend Nick Sheldon, uh, went out and he got all you could eat fried clams. Oh, no. God. No. 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 Stop. Stop. He was Stop. like, I'm getting my money's worth. So he just ate and ate and ate and he got oh, really God. sick. And he was like, man, I don't think I can ever eat another fried clam again. And I was like, wow, you really got all you can eat. <laughs> yeah. You got all the fried clams you could ever eat. There's, yeah. there's something to be said about the all you can eat seafood. And it seems to be popular. My, I remember going to an all you can eat Japanese sushi buffet place with my sister. Seems great. Seems like a great idea. Does it? But they charge you for every piece you don't eat and you have to take home in a doggy bag. So me and her, her and I, we had grabbed a bunch of stuff and obviously eyes too big for our stomach. And I remember we had like an entire roll left and I was like, we are not paying for this. <laughs> so we started like taking out the rice and like only eating the fish. We started mushing the rice into the soy sauce to try to hide like our horrible <laughs> sin. I was like, we can't <laughs> let them know we have pieces left. But man, yeah, I, I went a while not eating sushi because of that. It kind of ruined it uh, for me. <laughs> it's, it's I, uh, I spent a decent amount. Sorry. Let I spent a decent Stop it. Stop it, Eleanor. <laughs> <laughs> God, always talking over me. <laughs> Matthew, what do you think about all you can eat buffets? <laughs> but they had those on every block in Jersey. Did you guys ever play the game where you were like, if you went to Sabaros, they had like the hot 
the hot bar and the salad bar. Oh, so yeah. So I'd get like an exactly one pound of, of food. Did you ever play that game? Like 1.00. No, no, never played that game. No, never One played the of, Jersey no. Turnpike Switcheroo or whatever. It's <laughs> you, you, would fill, you would fill up your plate and then you would go to pay and they would weigh it because you pay by the pound and then if you and that would be like one point zero zero. Oh, 1.02. Oh, that does sound Next fun. Time. I could get into that. Sparrow, <laughs> I saw recently rebranded. Really? They, they, yeah, they have like a whole new logo and stuff. I was like, what have you done? <laughs> it's just it's just such a classic the Italian flag and the word. That's all you need. You don't what need to spruce it, it up. <laughs> Do you guys Good remember way. the Wendy's Super Bar? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No. That was phenomenal. It was yeah. so good. Uh, they were trying to make like Wendy's, all these fast food restaurants, they were trying to make it a more family experience. You would like take the family out and eat mac and cheese and chili and all you can eat Frosties. It was a good time. Yeah, and they, and they would do the all-you-can-eat salad bar, if I recall, at yeah, Wendy's. Yeah. And I'd be like, trying to drop a couple LBs. Uh, <laughs> let me just load up here on salad with a cup of ranch and <laughs> a pound of bacos. Like, they just had a gigantic <laughs> thing of bacon. A loaf like, of croutons. Salads are great. Salads are great. <laughs> Watching my weight. <laughs> Were your parents ever uh, disappointed with you? Because my dad wanted to go to all the, these all you can eat buffets all the time, but I had like one scone and then I was done. But it was like twenty dollars <laughs> wasted on Ellie every time because they didn't have like a child menu option or like person doesn't eat. Well, that's how they get you. That's how yeah. they make their money back. They bring you the know? tiny ones. Everybody <laughs> has to pay. Yeah. <laughs> that walks in. <laughs> they charge per body. <laughs> <laughs> you know you the one time I, I totally forgot this the one time all you can eat buffets are still great Vegas because you're so in need of as much like food sustenance because you just there's no food anywhere in Vegas unless you're eating out of fancy restaurants and you're just drinking from the moment you wake up to be able to go to a buffet and be like I'll take some shrimp cocktail and some chicken marsala uh, oh, that's still yes. a good time <laughs> like since the beginning of this show guys I've been wanting us to go to a casino I feel like I've, I've dropped that hint so many times we should go to Las Vegas I I've think, never been. I've never think, been to Nevada. I think you'll really enjoy it. The last time I had an all-you-can-eat experience, Troy's little anecdote unlocked it, was at Paris, Las Vegas, the, the hotel. Ooh. And I believe I was at an all-you-can-eat um, brunch bar, the most hungover I ever been in my life. <laughs> I drank an entire <laughs> gallon of orange juice followed by two gallons of water. <laughs> and uh, it was all-you-could-eat crab legs. Oh. Just Alaskan king crab legs, like oh, the huge oh, yeah. ones, so oh. you could like come back with like three of them on your plate and just look like a maniac. It was great. Oh god! How about for the final episode, we uh, we do it live from Vegas? Yes, yep. at the Bellagio. And we yeah. while Bellagio. we're doing the show, we all we can eat seafood and just right. see yeah. who until, drops like, first. As cast members drop off, right? Yeah, yeah. Yes. as their story folds up, fall. as their epilogue ends. We and just... the irony of will be the last man standing will be Mr. David Wedges. Everybody, oh, David. Yeah. I have a feeling it would just be all of us <laughs> vomiting, and you'd be like, guys, do you want to hear the epilogue? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm a pro. I'm a pro when it comes to this stuff. I mean, you've hit on a lot of my favorites. Just to recap, uh, Troy, uh, you said it was Hometown Buffet? Hometown Buffet, yeah. And then uh, the comparable brand is Old Country Buffet, which Old I've Old Country had, Buffet. That's what I was going to mention. Classic. Two to three hundred times when I was younger. Uh, <laughs> that's where I developed my frugality and ability to eat copious amounts of foods and <laughs> always finish with the soft serve, even though you don't need it. Uh, uh, Old Country Buffet is where I developed my my uh, unhealthy fascination uh, through high school and college with pudding, which is just, <laughs> that doesn't go anywhere. Good. I never heard about your pudding kick. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, you, you, got a, you got a pudding problem? You got a pudding. I love pudding so much, especially <laughs> shitty pudding. And I was living shitty. in New York and my cousin was living with me and he was like a fitness nut. And I'll never forget, he got pudding one time and he just a look on his face. He's like... What are you doing? <laughs> and so I was like, I love pudding. And he's like, thing. you know where that goes? <laughs> and he just like pushes me in my love handle like as hard as he can. <laughs> That's where that stops. <laughs> That's a way better nickname than Bread Boy is Joe Shitty Pudding O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> Shitty Pudding. That's a much I'd, better t-shirt. I'd wear that shirt. Shitty Pudding. Shitty Pudding. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> By the way, the pers- last man standing on our last episode when we're in Vegas, uh, they need to give everyone, the rest of us, a hundred dollars so we can all like pull it and then throw it into the gambling system. It's <laughs> right oh. into the system. Gambling system, as they say. <laughs> I got a good system. feeling about this. Right into the system. Wait, why are we pooling it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, and okay, okay, here's the other rule, um, is that somehow we have a competition, I don't know, like the strongest or fittest, uh, no, no, uh, or or the, the shortest, wins all that money and then goes back to <laughs> Sweden. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm going to get deported by the end of the show. We all know that. I think that. the fix is in. I think, I suspect yeah. the fix might be in. Yeah. I don't know mm-hmm. what the gambling system is going to say about this. <laughs> I love when the gambling system allows me to go to Sweden. That's my favorite part of Sweden, <laughs> the gambling system. Yeah. Well, you know what they say, Ellie. Whatever fits your boat. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Whatever fits your boat. Whatever fits your boat. Fits your boat. Damn it. Whatever and I'm not going to say, Matthew, what I said, whatever fits your boat about, because that was also a pre, pre-show pre banter thing. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> very <laughs> R-rated. Very R-rated. It's mostly about whale penises. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> Which, if you're sitting at home, you should Google. They're quite fascinating. <laughs> <laughs> like we all doing did this. when Troy told the story. Yeah. I told a story, a, a loving tale about a whale penis. <laughs> it, bro- yep. it broke Ellie's camera. Just look. <laughs> it. it looks like someone's pulling strawberry taffy from it and just never <laughs> <laughs> Guys, just keep I gotta say, this I, just I, miss you, I miss you guys so much. I wish you were hanging out in person right now. Man, uh, I'm on one tonight. I miss you guys. Uh, <laughs> you never know where we're gonna end up, but here we no. are. <laughs> right back where we started. Right back where we started. <laughs> I didn't get a chance to say this at our pre-show banter, but if you Google orca penis, the second image is of a handler like at SeaWorld, like holding the end, the glands of the penis. But at the base, it starts off like black and white, like the rest of it, and then it like slowly gradiates into it. It's it's an image that has haunted me ever since. Oh, I've seen it. There she is. Yep. yep. I wonder. Wish I, I didn't wonder, see that. I'm, I'm gonna ask. I'm gonna ask a question. Everyone wonders. I Project. don't know if you should ask it, Ellie. I, okay, no. go ahead, Ellie. Yeah, really think, worried about think this. Think real hard before you ask this question. Yep. Whatever. Just yeah. remember David before you say it. Ask? Yeah. Other people listen no, to this. No. So think about that. No. Oh. Okay. 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 Well, maybe I'll ask it. 50 minutes in. We'll see. Okay. But it's about, it's about food and pe- oh. like, okay. Please. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't see how anybody could have a problem with that. I say she goes ahead and asks a question. I don't see what issues could arise. Well, we, Ellie, if there's a lull can... about 50 minutes in, go ahead and throw it out there. Okay. I really, well, we come back from the first ad break. Will you I'll promise me, will you oh, promise me a bottle cap? <laughs> We're going to be canceled. <laughs> canceled by, by ourselves. By ourselves. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You can't do this. Oh, God. Well, hey, you know what? Let's play some Starfinder because things are heating up on uh, on this little planetoid here. You guys came in here, kicked some ass, but uh, kind of got... Uh, they were tough. These are these these cultists that you're fighting. You fought some of the regular ones, but then you fought some uh, beefier ones that I called berserkers because that's what they're called in the book. Uh, you were able to defeat them. And then you were like, you know what? Let's check out this elevator here. Boop. You go down the elevator and you find their ship. Uh, The ship that presumably they came in on. The ship that they flew to the other moon at. Um, You go on there. It is vacant. But for a laboratory of sorts. With a bunch of tubes with bodies and stasis bodies ranging from uh, fetuses and cellular uh, bullshit all the way up to full grown adults. There was one viable sample and it was a Meishan. They all seemed to be Meishans, various various ages of Meishan. You take her out, you bring her back to your ship, you're like, well... We'll deal with this later. She's in some sort of comatose state. Um, you come back in and you start exploring deeper. You go down these steps uh, leading to this big open area here. And when you walk in the room to the west, you are jumped by <clears throat> two more of these berserker cultists and perhaps the brother, Yosoki, of this Yosoki you fought back on the first place uh, that you have now captured, uh, tied up in your medical bay. 
Uh, he's a weird character as well. Um, maybe not quite as weird as Zix, although you didn't get a, a, a ton of time to talk to him because a fight broke out. He tried to fly away and you shot him out of the sky and he died. Now you're standing in this room. Um, seems to be control panels all over the place. Let me give you, it's been a, it's been a moment. Uh, there are three tall racks holding various powered down robots. And then uh, in the central portion of the back of the room, there's a freestanding control panel just serenely blinking. Other things you've seen when you came down the stairs into this main room, uh, a corridor stretching to the east, uh, only about 10 feet wide, several doors, small doors, and then a big set of double doors leading to the south. So plenty left to explore here. What do you do? Drax is going to uh, search the body of the uh, Yusoki that fell from the sky. Oh. The Yusoki that fell from the sky. He had a name, you know. <laughs> he also know had, it, right? He also had, like, insane things that he could fly with. So... We do know his name, and let's all say it on the count of three. It was seven. Zero. Six. six. <laughs> no, that was that was the sister. Act- yeah, six. actually, it's not. I took a shot. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not six. It's not six. Right. No. It's seven. Yeah, it's did, Ellie, did you seven. say seven? Yeah. <laughs> that was seven. That's pretty funny. That's good. I thought so, but not bottle cap funny, but funny. Uh, well, uh, I'll tell you the whale thing later. <laughs> <laughs> it's been five minutes. It's been five minutes. His name was Zaz, all right? Zaz. You find out because he's got a belt really? buckle that says Zaz. Zaz's buckle. Zix and Zaz. Zix and like Zaz. Mr. Zaz? Uh, Z-A-Z, yeah. Um, oh. her, she is spelled X-I-X, and so I called her Zix. Other game masters oh. might have said something else, but I like Zix. <laughs> You're searching this dude. He has a uh, D-Suit 3 that has a jetpack attached to it and a filtered rebreather. Ooh. He has a minor disruption pistol with two Kashali batteries. Do you got, did any of you have a disruption pistol yet? Yes. Yeah. And we have some Kashali batteries too. Dax has them. Okay, good. Um, I was worried that I told you something you didn't know. Uh, he also has an incapacitator with one battery that has 20 charges. Uh... I, I, David, what is that? Just for like stunning an enemy? Uh, yeah, exactly. It's uh, 3D4 bludgeoning, non lethal though, and it has to be powered. Set phases to stun. Uh, and a cred stick with 5,000 credits. Ooh. Mm. Wow. Oh, that's good. I want, I want cash for my. <laughs> For my gambling system pool. All right, let's r- <laughs> let's roll on the five thousand. <laughs> <laughs> okay, who's in? Who's, who's, who wants it? Who's I in for the five k? Um, did, but he didn't have any the things that he was flying with. What was he didn't have that? His suit uh, had a jetpack uh, attached to it. Now this is a uh, a suit fitted for a Yosoki. What are the rules, David, for like refitting a <clears throat> a suit? Now obviously you could just give it to Friss. But let's say yeah, you were like, no, I want it. Didn't we have this issue long ago when yeah. um, Kreska passed along a set of armor for Dude. Callum, right? Yeah, was that yeah. right when Callum showed up? Yeah, and I, and I we, believe we, we, we took could time. Yeah, we yeah. took time to like, we said we sewed up the tail uh, and like exactly. made alterations. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, so assuming, we got, assuming we got the ruling right then. It still stands. I like it. It's kind of like you can't just throw it on. But if if Frisk doesn't want it and you don't want to give it to Frisk for any reason and some it would benefit somebody else, you know, not right now. You can't be like, you know what, let's just stop the adventure and tailor this fucking suit. Uh, but, you know, eventually you could refit it for one of you. Um, but is it something Frisk wants? A DC three. Uh, I I might. I my current armor is pretty terrible. So it's th- this armor is better than what I have. I'm it's pretty sure it's probably have. better than what everybody has. It's great and, armor. Uh, and you can probably wear it because he was a mechanic, right? The the the, the Zed, whatever was his name. Zed? You never asked him before you murdered him. Uh, but <laughs> what do you do for a living? I get the sense. No, she was a mechanic. She had a drone. 
She did, yeah. Um, and it would be it would be just a DC eighteen engineering check to custom fit it. Uh, uh, did the math, yeah. that's the answer. I'm sure Frisk could handle it. For, Maybe yeah. Frisk wants it. Because not only is it a better suit of armor, it's got a rebreather, which sounds cool, and a jetpack. A fucking jetpack. Yeah. Take it, is, it. It's a phenomenal piece of armor. Those, those, yeah. those pieces are not tied to that armor, we should say. <laughs> Correct. No, I guess you could probably pull them off, yeah. Well, uh, that takes engineering checks, right? To, to switch the armor? To fix up the armor, yeah, would be engineering checks and time. Mm. Uh, but if you wanted to just remove the parts, I could say you could just remove the parts, but you're just going to make Skid angry. So I wouldn't I, do it. <laughs> like, no, the I armor, don't need Skid, the jetpacks. Nice I can give it. the jetpacks to someone who could use them. To If, if, if uh, Linnea wants them, she can have them. But I would like the better armor because my armor sucks. I, I just rolled a, for a jet jet uh the, the jet jump jets a couple of weeks ago so um i uh, i'd feel bad about taking also also my slots are over i i fold i have three slots so i don't have any more okay I mean, i'll uh, i'll take it i was gonna i'll I was go gonna for chime it. in on the filtered rebreather as well don't sleep on that that's a 4600 credit armor enhancement that allows you to breathe fresh air but more importantly acid resistance five and plus two to saving throws against poison and disease so, i would roll that's a for nice that. piece I'll here's what i think for the jet i think jump. no matter what you give the f- suit to frisk now and then if you want to fight over it later when you have the time to refit it yeah. You can refit it. Yeah. Um, you right. just got to decide if you want to split up its parts. Okay. Yeah. I will okay. roll off for the rebreather. I'll take the suit. And I don't want the jump jets. If someone else wants them, that's fine. Jetpack, even better. Yeah, you don't you have get, to land. You get a fly every, speed. Yeah, yeah. Joe, pack. Joe, do you want to roll for the jump jets? Oh, sorry, jetpack? Yeah. As do I. Oh, okay. man. This is a good one. This is a good one. This is good. This, this is a really good. good one. You can you get this. You can fly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I feel like Qualo just Changes flying everything. over everybody. Extremely I, I, helpful. I really want it. I, I want it too. I want it too. Okay. We rolling? All right, rolling. here we go. Matthew beat us. It looks like. He's got can already that. tell by his stupid face. He's got that <laughs> buffet smirk. A pound oh. exactly. Oh, I also rolled oh. high. Oh, all we right. got a three-way high. Yeah, three-way high. Yep. <sighs> all right. It's like the end of Reservoir Dogs. Okay. <laughs> Who goes first? I want to go first. I can you go, go first. You go first, Eleanor. Okay. Nineteen. Oh, that's pretty good. Cool. I have to. I'll step away. I'll step away. Congratulations what? on your win. Oh. Yours. I had an eighteen. I had an eighteen. Oh. Oh. But the only 18 year old all night. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure you started this whole conversation by saying you don't want it because you just rolled off on the jump jets. But whatever, that's cool. No, but you can have my jump jets. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going back into my crawl space. <laughs> crawl space. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, don't listen, don't listen to Joe Ellie. He's just grumpy from the crawl space he's been sleeping. <laughs> I'm just sore. Joe, I'll be in the, the crawl space until my in-laws throw hot coffee on me in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> The Oklahoma Maybe sunrise. the sorting hat will give you another <laughs> set of jump The old Oklahoma sun. <laughs> the old sorting Oklahoma hat. sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cl- it's what? good that it, you gave it to me because I'm clearly the strategic, the most strategy knowledgeable person on this game. <laughs> I believe it's strategery. Strategious. 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 What is the name? What is the name of the armor again? D suit. D suit three. Oh man! I do you guys do three one. like this, or do you do it with the back three fingers? Oh, well, I guess I could do it either way, but usually like this. Oh, I you do guys it both. do it. I do it both ways. I do it like yeah. this because Macho Man Randy Savage used to go one, two, three. That's how he did. And I, uh-huh. I like that. Is it wasn't that a thing uh, in Inglorious Bastards? Yeah, when they they count yeah. this way, and if you the other guy counted like this, and everyone was like, kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler scene. alert, Sydney. Yeah, that's How a, sorry you just nobody. ruined a scene. That's a hold huge on, scene. On. I'm going to look up when Inglorious Bastards came out. Yeah. Sorry if nobody saw this movie from 2008. 2009. 2009. <laughs> uh, anyway, are we rolling for the rebreather or are we waiting until we divvy up suit parts? No, go ahead. Who, who's in for the rebreather? I'm in for the rebreather. I'm in. 
Um, <sighs> oh, man. I don't have Make any sure slots Make sure you got the left. slots. Make sure I'm you out. got the slots, though. I'm out. Yeah, if you don't I have the, the slots. David, do I have the slots? <laughs> what armor do you have? Clear wave. Uh, Your armor is clear. clear, and you can just see your naked body. I can't imagine it has yeah, that yeah. many slots. I, yeah, I'm, I'm so a teenage fortunate. boy. <laughs> exactly, so fortunate that it happened to the minor of the party. It's a shame. We really don't uh, right. level, Sid? Uh, it's a mark two. It's a clear wave two. Uh, you have two slots. Hell yeah. And I, I got another 18. Oh. Back, back to back 18s. Can anybody right. beat 18? I got a five. Seven. Looks like Joe will be breathing and then breathing again. So the android. <laughs> oh, you know what? Re-breathing. Yeah. Why don't you take it, Skid? Uh, <laughs> because I don't breathe. So, like, oh. I don't see why it would benefit me. Good point. Uh, yeah. I sh- probably shouldn't get that bonus. All right. Thank you. Thank you for remembering. That you don't breathe. <laughs> uh, all right. What do you want to do here? Uh, As you said, there's robots on the tables. Looks like uh, defunct robots, um, similar to the bots that were in the room with Zix. Um Oh, they okay. kind of have the appearance of maintenance bots, maybe. Um, but they are, uh, at least they look inert right now. They look, some of them look incomplete. So maybe this was a room to uh, store them or to fix them up, spare parts. And you said it's a console to the West? Yeah, console to the West, just like slowly mm. glowing. Um, mm-hmm. Now, these mm-hmm. bots mm-hmm. also, mm-hmm. when you were in that big room where you fought Malice you saw these bots like working inside the cores of planets. These bots were all over the place on the screens. If you remember, you would, the guys were looking at the screens and you could see these bots just like working. So when uh, S. Osteth and Eltreth um, made their sacrifice and everything else seems like it was probably automated and these bots were just keeping everything, uh, keeping the, the, the Gate of the Twelve Suns in stasis under the power of their uh, electronic consciousness. Um, at least that's what you think because you haven't seen any other living creatures besides what you fought in the forest and the Desperate Hunger. Okay. Um, Dr. Friss, you want to check out that console? Yeah. To the west. Yeah. Okay. Friss, after yeah, we're, donning we're, his uh, beautiful new armor, will lope over <laughs> to the westernmost co- console. Uh, is that a con- uh, computer check? Uh, yeah, give me a computer check. Oh, actually, uh, let me do let me do a perception first to make sure that I don't somebody have any more traps. Uh, that is a twenty-two perception. Okay, you don't see any uh, countermeasures in place or any firewalls. Okay. Um, uh okay computers that is a 31 31 uh one good thing it looks like zaz uh already broke into it so you're able to kind of pick up where he left off um what you see that sort of jumps out at you it looks like uh you can see a log of his activity and it seems like he was spending the last hour or so uh trying to activate uh these replacement robots um, looking uh, uh, he's trying to activate the replacement robots and you get the sense that it's because other robots uh, are not under their control and you remember what Osteth said that uh, she like put counter programming into some of the maintenance bots so he doesn't have the same control that he would like so he was trying to like reactivate the ones in this room and maybe elsewhere on the base but nothing else of interest. And he wasn't unable to do what he was trying to do, it appears. Hmm. Just because we might be in danger while we were doing, while Frisk was doing that and we were doing the armor thing, could I res- spend one resolve point just to get some stamina back from uh, the fight? Yeah. Yeah, I probably should do that too. Yeah, I will. Me too. I'll also I'm do that. I'm going to elect not to do that. Yeah, same. I'm, I'm going to hold off. Let's save that resolve. You know they say what they say about resolve. Use it or lose it. I have level 
10 or 11. I, I don't remember what level we are, but I have so much resolve. And I'm going to eat those words. I realized that. <laughs> yeah, that's As never bitten them. you back in the past. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. I, it's Especially recently. So, yeah. Ellie, you'll never die. You'll, yeah, no. You can't die in Starfinder. We say it all the time. <laughs> I are, will never die. What are you at now, Ellie? How much resolve do you have left? Left? I have eight points left, but my oh. total is ten. Yeah, you'll never die. They're right. Yeah. Do you think we should check out this corridor to the east, or do you want to go through the double doors first? I want the captain to tell us where to go. Do we have any information from the map um, we got from... You are right, Grant? Yeah, I just love it. I feel like I'm getting to know Joe's kinks better right now. I like it when the captain tells me right where to go. <laughs> and rubs pudding on me. Rough pudding. Poor rough pudding all over me. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Old country um, buffet style. <laughs> like a chocolate fountain, but with pudding. Oh, you can eat pudding. <laughs> uh, if you try to, if you wipe your pudding hands for a moment and try to access the map that, uh, Osteth gave you. I'll put it back up on screen there, Ooh, and you beautiful. can see Great. what is hidden now. Obviously, this is the map as it was, maybe not as it is, but you see, um, looks like maybe a lavatory, and then some strange shaped room uh, with pods and a and a major computer console, uh, and then another room. Can't quite make it out. There's a couple of tables and then workbenches or shelves around the uh, edges. And then the room to the south looks like uh, another uh, another room with consoles. Let us go to the... Let's go to the room to the south. Yeah. And then proceed east. Aye, Captain. Uh, and Dax will head right to that... So the southern double doors, the big double doors to the south. Roll a perception check. All of us or just Dax? Um, let's start with Dax, where he is up there. If anybody goes with him, they can roll as well. Uh, 23. Okay. 23 perception. So you, uh, I've taken you back here to your original map. You roll up to the doors. And as you get up to those doors, from the east corridor, you hear like a dun, Uh-oh. dun, 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 <laughs> like a banging on a door. It sounded like the beginning of Eye of the Tiger. Dax is watching Rocky Two in the other room. Dax is gonna swing, swing his gun up his yellow star plasma array to the east, pointing it down that hallway. Captain, do you hear that? I do. It yeah, sounds that- like a training montage. <laughs> <laughs> Rise it up! <laughs> back on the street! Uh, yeah, now that Dax has pointed out, you all hear it just like, dun, 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 and the faintest sound of like, Oh, yeah, it went from rocky to terrifying. Wait, can I do, can I do like a, I don't, like insight, mm, I, we don't have insight, but, um. <laughs> get good roll <gasps> insight. Have you been cheating on us? I'm sorry, I'm playing D&D. Um, <laughs> can, give me an insight roll. Can I do. insight uh, roll. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> That's the role where the is. GM just tells you the best course of action, right? All right. Can, can, Callum, can, Callum, what you do? Use his, can Callum use his underdeveloped puberty brain and think if that's like a cry for, of pain? Uh, yes, your insight tells you <laughs> like it sounds like uh, someone or something is uh, trying to make noise and cry out for help. And it's okay, so it's not rhythmic because as a professional, I have professional dancing, so I was thinking if right. it was like. <laughs> yeah, you don't feel like the rhythm's gonna move you to start you breaking dancing? into dance. <laughs> but is the rhythm gonna get you? That's, yeah. the part, that's what you never know. No, that's fair, that's fair, okay. Dax, change of plans. Understood, Captain. 
and he just starts walking, uh, his shoulders tensed, his weapon pointed in front of him, slowly, methodically, aiming down sight towards this hallway. And he's going to move quickly then to the wall and do a perception, looking for traps in the immediate hallway or anything in the distance that could be a danger that is a 17. 17. Uh, all right, so... Yeah. We are perfectly set up for a Three Stooges on either side of this hallway right now. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> You'll peek around the corner. Uh, you look... You don't sense any danger. You see two doors to the north and then one door all the way to the east. Now that you're up there, you hear again the banging. It's like a a labored banging, it sounds like. Uh, And it's coming from this first door to the north down the eastern corridor. I think that was the bathroom. It was, yeah. Oh, no. Do you have toilet paper? (laughs) (laughs) So, number two, who's boss? (laughs) <laughs> Sorry, we can't spare a square. We can't spare a square. <laughs> can't spare it. Um, no, I, can... I can't spare a square. <laughs> Dax uh, is going to. Yeah, I was gonna say, can we listen at the door and see if we can get a sense of how many people are in there? Talk about kind of... fetishes. Yeah, you uh, you walk up to the door. You see, just like all the other doors that you've come across, there is that triangular touchpad uh, outside that opens and closes the doors. Um, you listen. Dum, dum, dum. The walls are thick, thick, old metallic alloys does the banging sound like it's coming from within the room or does it sound like the banging is on the door sounds like it's on the door in the room okay um Dex i'm gonna going use it i'm gonna send a telepathic message to me to anybody <laughs> all of us will hear it within 10 feet uh just to say identify yourself identify yourself Does that go through line of sight? It just as any within ten feet of me, they should hear it. Boom. 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 <gasps> Nothing. No response. Um can we can we do it does it sound humanoid or intelligent, the screaming, or does it sound like a T Rex? <laughs> <laughs> It might be a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> you need to work on that then, Troy. T-Rex is uh, more like... Goo. All right. It's hard. It's hard <laughs> to tell. These these walls are very thick. Um, uh, it sounds say, like it's struggling. Oh, Dax no. Will say, it's going to be Captain, a monster. Dr. Friss, do you know of any spells that could create an illusion of this nature? Draw us into a, a trap. Me? Oh, Why are you yeah. asking? I'm not the expert. I'm not least you are the that smartest is. being I've met. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> thank you. I'm flattered, but I, that's a weak spot for me. I'm not a least of anybody here, probably. Anybody have knowledge, uh, whatever it is? Mis- I have mysticism. Mysticism? Yep. Uh, that is a 19 mysticism. 20 from Koala. And what are you looking to learn what? about? Trying to follow Dax's crazy theory about a the spell trap, leading us in to fight a T Rex. <laughs> yeah, just because <laughs> since there was 20, no response, I don't 27 know. 27 mysticism, if Callum knows anything, if oh. that helps. Ooh. Callum. Oh. Get after it. Young man knows a lot about mysticism. Mm, pretty, pretty mystic. I don't know. Pretty no. witchy. It's Did possible. you say I'm pretty optimistic? <laughs> no, I, say, I tried to make some sort of pun. I said pretty mystic, and I was like, that wasn't anything. <laughs> uh, optimistic. I like that. Uh, I'm optimistic. So, was better. What Callum okay. lacks in insight, he <laughs> makes up for in mysticism. You think, like, it's possible that whoever's on the other side of the door just doesn't speak your language. Yep. It's also possible that it's some horrible creature that doesn't speak any language and just is banging away. All right. Mm. Okay. Let's open the door. I will open the door, Captain Quallo. Okay. Shall we? Yes. Let's rock. Dax will open up the door. 
Dax presses the triangular touchpad, and nothing happens. Oh, get the dead guy's hand. Get the dead... Callum goes, get the... De- uh, get the... Um, we should get the dead guy's hand, right? All right, I got it. Linnea goes and cuts the dead oh. head's hand off. Wait. Oh. Okay. Oh. No, she's... She, I committed to it. And she, she does c- She cuts the dead Yosoki's hand, hand off. off? Yeah. You touch it with the dead Yosoki's hand, blood running down your wrist, and just like it did with Dax, it blinks red instead of green and does not open. Friss, uh, you think this is probably just some mechanical uh, failure? Um, alrighty. Callum, do you have any ability to eat away at this door and create a, an entryway for us? Or can we bypass the system? Yeah, I could just try to fix the door. It's hotwire. <laughs> yeah, first my build a rewire. <laughs> Crack away energy goes, oh. <laughs> yeah, no, we don't have to melt it. I could just try to fix it. Yeah, we don't have to melt it. We can, right. Yeah. <laughs> also an option. It's trying to involve more people on the team. I know. Yeah, exactly. I, I have no question he could melt the door or if he put his mind to it. If I didn't have to melt the door. You, yeah, uh, I mean, he might want to use whatever he's going to use to melt the door to melt a person that's trying to kill us, for mm-hmm. example. That's true. Linnea stands there with a bloody, bloody paw. Linnea flicking the palm. That's true. That's true. That's true. So let's <laughs> stop dismembering people and let yeah. me just try to fix the door. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Right. Oh, yes. Uh, that is a 41 engineering. 41 Ooh. engineering. Okay. So Friss uh, pops the plate, the triangular plate off, and starts messing around with the wires. And work the uh, lock. Work the lock. You uh, connect the red and the green, and all of a sudden, and the door slides open. Inside the room. You see a oddly circular chamber with stark white walls that are occasionally broken up by rectangular outlines near the floor and a few feet off of the ground. The overhead lights are buzzing incessantly. It looks just like it does on the map uh, to be a single person lavatory, a sink, toilet, and maybe little devices that are hidden in the walls next to smaller touch pads. For us, you think like you probably touch those and something pops out that you can work. But as the door slides open, a creature lurches out uh. right at you. Roll for initiative. Is a creature in a spacesuit? What? Yeah, what is this? Looks like that. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Like a zombified astronaut with shit growing off of his face. It's got no. uh, it's got some kish similarities, but uh, yeah, it seems to be like a zombie kish in this uh, old, old spacesuit that is ripped open and torn and covered in blood. And he just oh. lurches out mm. at y'all. Horrifying. Let's talk about initiative. Dax. Oh, I should roll it. Uh, damn. Oh, damn. 13. God. 13. When you're right up front. Oh. Not a good initiative. Uh, Dr. Friss. Uh, 19 for Dr. Friss. That's a good initiative. Callum. 14. Not great. Mm. Linnea. 27. <laughs> I knew Linnea, it. Linnea, red hot. Uh, Qualo. Not quite as good as Linnea, but Qualo is still bringing the noise and the funk with a 21. Ooh, and Captain K. 15. 15. Uh, a respectable uh, 15 for Captain K. Round one will begin right after this word from our sponsor. <laughs> good timing. Mm. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Ellie, say what you wanted to say. No. Tell us about the penis this food. Long. No, the, you know, I have a rule about jokes. If they don't last uh, five minutes after I thought about them, they're probably dumb, and this is definitely one of those jokes. That's a and very it's not specific a joke. rule. Well, yeah, but like, it, it, it used to be four months, but now, no, it's five well, minutes. What about <laughs> promises? How long did they last? 
I, <laughs> what did you I'm, promise to tell us this joke? Well, I, the story was just like, you know, you can eat <sighs> testicles. Like that's a, so I was wondering if someone has actually cooked these whale penises and what they taste like and if they're healthy or not, if there's a lot of protein in it. <laughs> there's a whole, why do you think they call the book Moby Dick? Yeah. That's, that was a whole practice like back in seafaring days. Dude, they're, mm -hmm. Moby Dick, so many layers. So many layers <laughs> in that book. Anyway, thanks, Troy. You're welcome. <laughs> glad, I, glad I opened up the floor. <laughs> I'm glad I found this article. Ten penises people actually eat. Oh, it's, it's, thank it's you, Joe. a whole article. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Guys, I mean, uh, yeah. I'll say when I was in Japan, I mean, now that we're just talking about this, when I was in Japan in Piss Alley, um, there's a lot of very popular little, Piss Alley's super cool. It's like a super narrow little street. You walk down, lots of food vendors with little stools out. You just kind of like stand and, and quickly eat. And there was a lot of like, Bull penis, bull vagina, sheep bladder, like all kebab style. And unfortunately, or fortunately, I was full vegetarian at that time. Uh, and I was like, well, not today. Maybe next time. Yep. But uh, I wish I could tell you, Ellie. I wish I could let you know what it all tastes like. What do we say to the god of bull penises? <laughs> not, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Years ago... Uh, uh, we gave uh, our director for uh, we did this play off Broadway, and uh, the gift that we gave him was a, uh, a a semen cookbook. It was like all recipes that you you can use semen in, and nice. uh, we just were like as a joke. And now once every blue moon, he'll just like send me one of the recipes. The joke. <laughs> <laughs> and we have a good laugh. Uh, semen like cookbook. human. Human or other? No, you know what, Ellie? Don't, don't, don't overthink it. <laughs> I can't imagine there's a huge variety of Yeah. Difference. Was it a large book? Yeah. Uh, it, it was larger than you think. There was, there was really a lot. It has a lot Much of uses. Much larger than it needed to be. <laughs> Much, yeah. You're like, oh, no, that's not how I like my deviled eggs. What is the largest <laughs> unit that the semen gets measured in? Is it quarts? Is it pints? Yeah. Gallons yeah. worth of semen? How much do you need? I don't know. More than a tablespoon is too much, if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want it to overwhelm the other flavors. <laughs> it's it's like overwhelm the it's dish. Like truffles. You don't want. You only want enough. <laughs> right. No, just a shaving of semen over the. <laughs> it's like more of an aromatic. <laughs> oh, like like semen fruit flakes. Like. <laughs> Yep. A light dusting. A light dusting. <laughs> oh See, we can God. only make these jokes in the second half of the show. <laughs> <laughs> but it gets the, late. Kids are in bed, unless you're on the West Coast, in which case, get out of here, kids! <laughs> Go to bed! <laughs> kids, I want to be a chef when I grow up. <laughs> uh, all right, round one, let's do this. Oh. Chunker, this thing chunker, comes chunker. out and it's just like hands lurching out at, uh, I guess Dax is standing right there, uh, and Qualo. Let's talk about round one. Let's talk about Linnea. Obviously, a 27 is a rock and roll a niche. What do you want to do? It's a really um, tough quarters here where everyone's positioned. But it's launching at Dax, but it's not, it's not moved up to Dax yet, so I can basically try to squeeze my way through both uh, all of my teammates and try to hit Yeah, it. it's kind of yep. lurching towards both Qualo and Dax. Uh, obviously, they're the ones in the line of fire here. What do you, what do you think? And you want to slide past everybody into the room? Yeah, and uh, so I want to get in there, get get adjacent to it, and then hit. Hit like, hit like with my rib and uh, deal some damage. Well, let's see what happens. Yep, here uh, she goes. And that Whoops. would provoke, no? Sure. Go ahead, Troy. Um, uh, you, you can't David? use your you can't use reaction before the first time you act in combat. Oh, so, so that, figured, that still yeah. stands. I can never remember Good which rules stand go. and which rules don't. Yeah, I was uh, I wasn't thinking it until you said it, Joe. And I was like, well, maybe it does. But that's why we have a David, everybody. David, David, David. You, I'm sending you a cookbook. <laughs> no, no, as a no. little thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know what David's no, bringing to the next potluck. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm going right. to take a little swing. Uh, house <laughs> 32 against KAC. House 32 against KAC. It's a hit. <laughs> That's how it is. 24, five points of damage. 25 nice points start of damage. Linnea! Great nice. start by It's because Linnea. I knew it was a T-Rex. I, so I was prepared. It's definitely not. Definitely uh, that guy is what it is. <laughs> really cool art. Uh, he looks like a janitor. 
honestly. Like looked, you see yeah. that like his the the what you call it the patch on him has like symbols that you've seen around the station, uh, and it's just you get that sense that he's like a janitor, maybe a janitor that get like trapped in here. And he has like a yeah, beard. His suit, his suit is also patched up. Like it looks like it's been cut open and repatched to try to keep pressurized or something. Like. Yeah, Very like strange. maybe he was trapped in here and like was dying and his suit was falling apart and he was doing the best to keep it going. And then um, he passed on and has been trapped in here ever since until you unleashed him. And only now, when he kills all of you, will he finally be free. It is Qualo's turn. It's time to show this bastard the eye of the tiger. Qualo's going to march right up to this derelict dead spaceman and he's going to take one of his strongest swings ever at him here it comes can't see this die uh 21 to hit against uh no, the that, is a, that is a miss thing. that is a miss uh yowza big old miss it is Dr. Friss's turn. Dr. Friss, you were the one that got them into this room. Can you get them out? Uh, Friss, I'm guessing, dropped his or set his pistol down to work on this panel. So he is going to pick that up with a move action and then move over behind Dax so he can get some kind of a shot on his next turn. Okay. Dr. Friss lines himself up for a safe shot next time. It is... Oh, oh, and I want to try to identify this thing. Mm. Yeah. Oh, natural 20. Oh. Uh, do you uh, have mysticism? I do. Mm, so okay. that would be a 25 on mysticism. All right. So in, in book terms, this is a, a creature known as a marooned one. Mm. Oh, cool. So in fact, the story I just told is the truth. Uh, <laughs> this is a... Uh, this was just like the the janitor, and uh, when everybody left, he was trapped in here. Like, no, no, I'm on the bat, and he just he died and turned. Um, give you a bit of information. It's not a, a traditional maroon one because you see it as Kashali uh, features. Uh, what is going to be important to you? Twenty. I'll give you a couple undead immunities. Obviously. Uh, what was your total? What was your total, Friss? Twenty-five. Uh, don't give him too much, Troy. Yeah. The only other thing I'm going to tell you is that. This is a good one. Uh, it has blind sight. Okay. Yeah. And then let's see if I can show you what it does. As it, uh, D4 here, uh, Linnea, one, two, Qualo, three, four. Qualo. Mm. He just lurches out and tries to grapple Qualo. So I've got to beat your CAC plus eight to Got grab it. you. Here we go. God, I feel like I haven't rolled a d20 in a while. Uh, 30. Miss. Excuse me. Uh, yeah, 30. Miss. So uh, he just reaches out to grab you and misses. Quala just has too many appendages. He wriggles right out. <laughs> he rob wriggles his way right out. So the creature lurches uh, for uh, Qualo and misses in his Callum's turn. Okay. Callum is going to um, step so that he can see through the doorway but not block anybody in case they want to go in. Um, okay. And I am going to cast Puncture Veil. Um, so a creature that I can see, suddenly uh, a hole opens up in reality and like a thousand microscopic needles fly into the creature uh, and then just, just zip back out. Yeah, so it's just like... Uh, and... Ooh. They will take 1d4 uh, piercing damage and gain bleeding one for three rounds. All right, so give me the damage, and uh, I don't think undead creatures bleed, right, he, da David? He uh, does not bleed. Ah, darn it. Okay. Well, so give me your crappy little damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a three. I will take that three points of damage. All right, take it. Do you take all of it? I take all of it. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, <laughs> It sure in hell looked cool, uh, is what yeah. happened. But now you know. Yep, no, nah, we don't have a bleeder. This thing is <laughs> gotta be undead. Callum, Callum goes obviously not realizing everyone else is like, this is an undead creature. Frisk figured everything out. He goes, oh, it's not alive. Oh, uh, hey everybody, <laughs> it's not gonna bleed. <laughs> Callum whispers to the crew. Dax it looks at her sincerely and says, "Thank you, Callum. 
<laughs> You're welcome, Dax. He puts away his bleeding weapon. And it is Kreska's turn. Uh, I will first roll mysticism. Since okay. it seemed that there was more information we might be able to glean. Mm. Uh, that is a 26. <laughs> okay. It's... Is it uh, average or rare, Troy? Would you this one is it? a little more rare, I'm going to say. Uh, yeah, so that's not going to work at uh, DC, hold on, 33 on the identify. All right. Um, okay. Sorry, Matthew. The David has spoken. He did indeed. Uh, uh, so, okay, Kreska's going to cast uh, a spell called Wisp Ally. Ooh. So I draw forth otherworldly energy to create a small spherical floating wisp that can distract your enemies in combat. Uh, so it's going to move onto the wisps. On, the wisp is going to move onto the enemy's space and provide effectively uh, harrying fire for us so over the next ally that attacks it. Gets a plus two circumstance bonus to your attack roll. Ooh, that's cool. Is it like a willow wisp? It's just a you know it's just a little bit of a, a, a spherical floating wisp of energy. Well, that's fun. It's going to automatically uh, follow that enemy unless I direct it to change targets. How about this? Ooh! Mm. Oh, nice! Oh. Is that fun? That's some uh, that's nice true, roll twenty work. The wisp does shed light in twenty foot radius and a color of my choice, and I choose mauve. Move. Oh. Move. All right, 20 foot move. Uh, <laughs> there she is. Oh, you guys can't see that. Nope, well, no, we can't. I'm nope, going to grind can. this to a halt until you can all see it. <laughs> yes. uh, there you go. Boom. Move. Wow. Move. That's move. my interpretation of move. Yeah, that's not quite move. But all right, you're not quite move. move. I tried, <laughs> like all right? Watered down tomato. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't you say tomato? <laughs> tomato, tomato, it's Dax's turn. Finally. Uh, Finally. Dax is going to move very quickly uh, into the room. Oh. 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 He's going he to try to go by the creature uh, in order to uh, flank it. So he'll oh. provoke. He'll provoke. I wonder if I can do... Uh, a grapple as my action. What do you think, David? Well, actually, I will. Uh, so I will no. also tumble. Uh, so can I do that, David, and move at half speed to try and avoid uh, the attack yes. opportunity? Yes, you're going to tumble around though, and then we have that whole issue of going through multiple squares that threaten. So you'd have to tumble twice, right? Um, okay, so if I succeed on a tumble, it, it doesn't matter that he only gets one reaction. It's like it. He can keep reacting. Um, uh, yeah, I believe you have to do it for each square, I think is something we picked up. Um, and so you're not going to go through his square, so I believe it's going to be 15 plus one and a half times the CR for yeah. each square. There's no reason not to do it, CR. right? I don't see any yeah. reason not to do it. So, uh, okay, uh, I'm going to do it because I only need to move half speed to get into flanking with Qualo. So first tumble is a 33. What is it, 15 plus? Yep. God, I hate this one That's and on. a half times the fucking that, bullshit. That gets it. That gets so it for stupid. the first square. All right, try it again then. <laughs> Trying you, it David. again. Natural one. <laughs> oh, no. All right, so as you come around to the back, you you, you uh, see a, a small dagger come out. <laughs> uh, probably a miss with a 26. That is... Hack. I'm gonna just confirm it. Uh, that is a miss. That is a miss. Um, yeah. Uh, all right. So he'll come around and flank. Awesome rolls tonight. Awesome rolls. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to do deadly aim, um, and so I get a plus two to hit. Right, David, or is he flat footed? He's flat footed. Uh, he. Yeah. Uh, you have him flanked, not flat footed. So they're two different things. So it's plus right. two to hit for the flanking. Yes. Oh. Okay. So plus right, so you're two not to flat hit. Footed. You get all right. Go ahead. Plus, plus two. two to hit. Then another plus two from the distracting wisp. Uh, all right. Adding it all uh, up. Come on. Oh, for God's sakes. 
21, 21, 21, oh. 21. Miss, miss, but luckily that thing didn't hit you because that could have been bad. Unbelievable how low that roll was. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's, You're it's the whale penis right. of this show, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Round two, Linnea. <laughs> it sounded like a compliment, though. I would wish I was a whale penis. I would have taken it that way. <laughs> I think we I'm all gonna, wish we were the whale penis. <laughs> I'm going to full attack this this gorgeous creature um, yeah, with my with my rib. Here she come. Here first she comes. First attack. My ribbon is a it, my ribbon is a female whale penis. And here he goes. <laughs> first roll is twenty four against CAC. First roll is a big old miss. Oh no! All right. Try harder. Second roll. Ah. Oh. 15. Fuck. Oh no, I missed both. Oh I was, my I was, god. I was 15 so is cocky. worse than a 24. I was so cocky. <laughs> uh, you were very cocky, and you just swinging that thing around wildly. You missed Qualo. This thing lurched out at you yeah. and luckily just missed you. Uh, what do you want to do? You're flanked with your buddy Dax, getting that plus two to hit. A little bonus from the Wisp. Plus four. A little Wisp uh, bone. No bonus from the wisp. It's no only, bonus from the wisp. It's only the next person after me. Wasted uh, on Dax. Is the wisp gone? <laughs> no, but it's uh, it just it's harrying fire. Is the next opponent, next person to attack? Uh, sorry, <laughs> sorry, Qualo. No, no that's bonus. fine. That's fine. Qualo uh, finishes uh, shielding his eyes from the whale penis that flopped in his face as, uh, as Linnea missed twice. What a mess! And, <laughs> and then we'll throw flashing strikes out of the creature. Okay, that, okay, okay. We're talking about a 28 against uh, Casey. That is a hit. All right, all right. The first bit of damage is going to be massive with a 33. Oh, Ooh. Larry wow. Bird enters the show. <laughs> <laughs> the second attack is for a 32 to hit. Oh, my Jesus God. Christ, Grant. Wait, do you not take a penalty to hit? It's a plus 13, plus 13 currently. Flashing strikes. Yeah, flashing strikes, he takes a, a minus three, minus three. But actually, you don't take four. Plus 15 right now because of the flanking, so. So you don't take the minus four penalty? I take a minus three instead of a minus four on each one. So your normal is plus 16? Uh-huh. That's correct. Man. What's your What's your bonus, Joe? You're always so confused. Plus 14. Just well, seems like I well, could have done like better. That's wildly different. <laughs> seems like I could have done better. You also have, <laughs> you have a higher AC than I do, though. So we're doing different, different, different no, strikes. No, no, I'm just, I'm just trying to figure out the builds. That's all. And flashing strikes and how it works. That's all. I'm uh, plus 15 if it helps. Okay. Good to know. That's how. <laughs> that second bit of damage was for 30 points. Just going oh, straight through. Him with the 63 <laughs> points of damage. <laughs> Amazing. How? How? And all this looks like it's getting through. Uh, hard uh, AC to, to hit, but once you get through, you do some damage. He's still kicking, though, and it is Dr. Friss's turn who set himself up for a shot here. Okay, Friss is going to line up his shot. He gets the automatic trick attack against him, and he's going to fire his Hailstorm class pistol. Uh, oh, Natty 18 against his flat footed <sighs> oh, EAC. Beautiful. I think that's a hit. That is 28 points of damage, and he will remain flat-footed until the beginning of my next turn. Huge. Jesus. Huge, huge. You're really, you're really wishing those Linnea shots came in, because now it's its turn. And it has uh, three targets surrounding it. Dax, Qualo, and Linnea. That's where I really wish I had some character sheets around me. Uh... All right, I am going to try and decide between Dax or Qualo here. Ah. And it's Qualo again. Uh, mm. I missed me, last bro. time with Qualo. Come at me. Reaches out for Qualo. Lamely. Come on, Abneth. Okay. I think I got you. Uh, remember, this is CAC plus eight, and that's going to be a 36. Oh, oh no! Yeah. Uh, not. <laughs> As they say, uh, and by they I mean me, a couple things are going to happen. Uh, he grabs you and begins to strangle you. Uh, you just see his kish tentacles flapping around. Uh, roll a fortitude save. 
Does this involve breathing in any way? Or we're just saying constriction is hurting me because I don't breathe. Uh, you know, that's a good point. You don't breathe. Um, but I think this is windpipe damage. So I don't have a windpipe. So, I mean, we can reflavor it to be just like just shell yeah, well, damage you know it or it's, whatever it's, it's, damage. It's, it's, here's the thing. is It's bludgeoning and constitution damage. Sure. So uh, give me the save okay. and let's see how it shakes yeah, sure. out. Jesus. Uh, sorry, these die are translucent, so I have to look at them. Uh, 14 plus, you said, uh, fortitude? Yes. 24 total. Okay, great. You made the save. So, don't have to worry about the con damage, but you will take half damage as he's just like, whatever you have for a neck, he's, he's yeah. smashing it together. Um, okay, this is still a... a you're lucky you saved, because this is a lot of damage that you're going to take half of. 2d12. Uh, oh, there's a 12 on 2d12. So uh, 30, 30, 37. Uh, half of 37. So uh, 17 points of damage. Uh, 18. 18, 18 yep. points of damage. I like to think uh, that he he grabbed and squeezed through Quala's armor so hard that his shell started breaking into his underbody and like it just chipped into him. So that's what happened. It wasn't his windpipe. That's what I'm trying to reflavor. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Um, and he is, uh, you're both effectively grappled right now okay. uh, as he is just like squeezing at your, uh, the area between your shell and what would be a neck. And, and now that I'm grappling him, does that remove flanking or are Dax and I still flanking? Uh, you're still flanking. Okay, Because you're still technically in that position. Right, I will add grappled then. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes, Callum, you are up. You see it's got a hold of Qualo. Okay, uh, question then. I was going to move to the right side of the doorway um, and shoot through. If he's grappled, is there a chance I can like shoot Qualo now? Because I feel like I have I a I wish line. there was, but no, that oh, rule okay. does not exist. Uh, <laughs> as long as you're standing there, you have a clear shot. Um, cool. If you were standing behind Qualo, he would get cover. But yeah, that is a clear shot for you right there. Sweet. Um, then Callum, with his disintegrator pistol, is going to take a shot, which uh, this, historically, Callum's really good at shooting guns and definitely yeah. is going to do... Mm -hmm. Fuck. 21. <laughs> 21 <laughs> is a miss. <sighs> Why are we all getting 21? So I, many 21s. What I expected to say, a natural one, you never know what's going to happen. That could get Koala or, or anyone else. Uh, but yeah, there's no technical rule for that. And I wish there was. It is Kreska's turn, Captain. Can you write this ship? Uh, I hope so. Kreska is going to step into the open space uh, and take a swipe with her vest claws. Okay. Oh, my legs. Oh, my legs. <laughs> 16 to hit. Oh, so not close. Why? Yep. Um, uh, natural five. Uh, natural okay. five. Gross. The, uh, the wisp renews, so now the next <gasps> person to attack the creature gets plus two circumstance bonus. Ooh, who's going to take that circ bone? Is it Dax? <laughs> <laughs> he needs it. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh geez oh man uh, all right dax is just going to uh he's going to swing once um but with deadly aim Cut twice. and uh see if we can't use these two bone bone eye uh to finally hit him this time all right okay. uh, he's grappling qualo crushing his shell and dax is just like no Swah! swings through with the ultra thin Natty, 19, baby. Oh. Natural 19 is going to do it. That's going to do it. That'll right. do. Oh, wow. Right, oh, from. that wasn't too, too bad. I rolled two ones on 48, but then uh, an eight and a six. So, uh, sorry, real quick. That is going to be 35, 35 points of damage. 35. Yeah, I guess you're doing 30 plus on the reg. Another big... <laughs> And it just uh, bears down, but as you hit it, it uh, looks back at you, Dax. Do you have another attack? Uh, no, I used it all because I wanted to make sure try to hit that high AC. That's smart. Yeah, you know you're dealing with a high AC. Linnea, you're up. Linnea, you had a tough round I last know. time. Uh, Two I'm big old misses. Can you make up for it? I'm switching to a yeah die, a blue one. Here comes. Yeah. Uh, Here comes my full attack. Actually, uh, before you say anything, um, I, I am going to move. 
I'm going to guarded step here to give Linnea flanking. Here, so you're going to slide over to give Linnea the flank. Yeah, so he'll swipe and then move. Uh, okay. Just as one quick right. action. With the flank bone, uh, 23 against Kek. That's a miss. Even right. with the flank oh, bone. All right, all right. Here comes, here comes. No, so close to a yeah, but it's a 97, and that's less than <laughs> my fucking sorry. So close to a yeah. Damn. Damn. Instead, that's it's what a big it says. old nah. <laughs> Koala, you're grappled by this thing. What do you want to do? Yeah, I'm just trying to subtract the flanking bonus now that I'm no longer flanking. Okay, so I'm going to hit uh, You want to know the rules for trying to escape the grapple in case no, that's something you're interested in? No, I just want to swipe okay. out at this guy because I don't feel like I have a great chance of escaping his grasp. Uh, pair that with my mo- bu- uh, subtractions to dexterity-based skills and whatnot. I'm just going yeah. to kind of flail out at him. Okay. And I'm going to do so. I'm only at a plus 14 right now, which is Dax territory. So I'm just going to yeah. swing twice Sad. with a plus 11, plus 11. Here it comes. First attack misses with a 21. Second attack yeah. is a 27. 27 is a hit. Okay. There you go. There you go. Uh, Big go. hits here. Let Big it hits. ride. Come on, baby. Come on. Get all that uh-huh. damage. Larry Bird again. Swish. Oh. 33 points of damage. He's still kicking. That's why. But he looks like he is on his last legs. Dr. Frisk, can you take him out of his misery or is he going to try and strangle somebody else? <gasps> Finish him, Doctor. I'm going to try. So, Frisk is going to scamper on all fours between Kreska and Dax's legs. <laughs> oh, awesome. Or Linnea's legs to get past him and get a free shot. And I am going to take another trick attack. Uh, 17. That's a miss. Okay. Do you have to uh, roll to avoid their top of attack of opportunity, or did Dax eat the attack of opportunity? Well, if he's grappling... Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, he would have to release figured. it. David, your thoughts? I, yeah, I don't know if it's like Pathfinder grappled, though, where both parties are grappled. Uh, it's... Looking at it, uh, it's your target has the grappled condition. It doesn't refer to you having the grappled condition. Okay, well, I I misspoke then. Would you want to do something different, Friss, where he's not grappled, but uh, Qualo is? Uh, I would love for the game's rules to be more consistent overall. If you could work <laughs> I, on that, that would be amazing. I'll be honest, personally, I would enjoy that as well. Yeah, um, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> no, I guess I'm just going to try to tumble through then. So I'll do two okay. acrobatics checks. Yes. Oh, that's fun. Uh, let's see. First one is a 26. <laughs> uh, David, what's the DC? I believe it's uh, DC 33 with this guy. Okay. No, it makes total sense if you're in like a, a neck lock. You you're strangling. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's great. Quick stab. It's great. Maybe he uh, can kick. Maybe he's just going to kick. He's just going to kick for us as he wants. Okay, <laughs> I'd like the damage by. to reflect that then. If he's just <laughs> kicking out at me while he's in a headlock, then I would like the damage. This is I one take to reflect that fact. Seriously coordinated zombie. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm just going to let you get there for us. It doesn't make any sense. Thank as long you. as if he's holding on to you, I'm not going to stab out and then go back to hold you. It's, <laughs> okay. it's dumb. He's, he's a it's, Navy SEAL of zombies. <laughs> it's dumb enough. I'm not going to make it any stupider. Thank so you get you. back in, there in, and you miss. Well, no, but in fairness, that's in the rules too, where it only takes one hand to grapple someone. Really? Bullshit. Yeah, that's actually in there. I can't. Okay. Well, from here on out, we'll remember that. For now, I'm going to okay. let Chris get back there uh, because uh, he's little. <laughs> I don't want to cheat or anything, but I also get very annoyed. Want to play the game? Yeah. I'd like to play the game. I don't want to cheat or anything, but the rules of the world. Game. I would like to play a game. I'll, I'll go that far. I like to play a game. <laughs> One Dax, two Qualo, three Kreska, four oh. Linnea. Uh, I. Well, I would make an argument there, though, real quick, Troy. He'd probably want to stay with Qualo because while he has the grapple condition, his AC is also lowered. You know what? Can you shut the hell up for once? <laughs> <laughs> Your stupid Pilot little smile David. tonight. You know what? <laughs> it is just such a bunch of crap. You're David, a crap you're skid. You, you got crap opinions and you're a crap person, you crapper. You it's like appropriate that we're in the lavatory. Of your semen cookbook on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great I summer. Both Grant. I triggered both Skid and Grant within about 30 seconds of each other, which is a new record. So. <laughs> it's not you, it's the game. And also, I do want to say, David did an amazing game, uh, amazing job GMing our Patreon uh, Pathfinder game the other day. 
Yeah. Did a great job. I haven't told him yet. He did a great job. So thank oh, you for thank that. You, thank you, David. Thank you. He did. He did a great really job does. for me too, which is really impressive because uh, I tried to annoy him every step of the way with my character. <laughs> <laughs> well, now I'm going to try to annoy Kreska because a three came up. I am going to release on Qualo because <gasps> I don't like this not breathing shit. I want to strangle someone that can breathe. This is going to be against your CAC plus eight, Kreska. Here we go. Uh, 31 miss oh so <laughs> awful so awful we knew this going in we knew this was what was gonna happen just to just shitty shittiness uh all right it is uh fucking somebody's turn it's callum's turn callum <laughs> wow us uh yeah well i don't have a clear line of shot now um and I really, you know what? I will use a spell slot. I'm trying to avoid you. I feel like I'm like, it's a zombie. Like, yeah. d- just die. Like, I don't want to use a spell slot on it, but okay. So I'm going to cast uh, Slice Reality. Um, so I'm replacing the zombie parts with the, um, I don't know. Linnea skitter, parts. Skitter, oh, okay. <laughs> Ah, ah, it starts parts. getting ripped out from the inside. Uh, oh, no, uh, I just replace it with another alien part, Skittermander insides. Um, okay. And Poor guy. It's going to take uh, 2d6 damage, but a successful fortitude save will have it if you can do that. So you just pull Skittermander parts out of the drift yeah. into this uh, guy, and you just hear, oh no! Uh-oh. No, what is uh-huh. happening to me? Oh, God, was, oh, so you can't, oh, so you can talk, huh? Well, uh, that'll but, get you to talk. Oh, David? Yeah, your turn, Sydney. Um, but Undead Immunities, uh, no effects that require fortitude saves, unfortunately. David? <sighs> David? Three in a row, baby. David? <laughs> Three in a row. You know so knock, knock him down. You know what, David? Cycle, cap. baby. <laughs> David gets a ball cap. Can I, cap. can I do a different spell then, or have I used my spell slot and everyone's going to shit on me? It's Chris just assume- turn, everybody, unless uh, <laughs> anybody. <sighs> Captain yeah, K, what would you like to do? Well, <laughs> Sydney, it's your own fault for using a spell slot at all. Yes. There's no business sure? using up a spell slot. I on this shoot my gun. Creature. I to, unload my gun. To add myself to Sydney's <laughs> <Just> <laughs> 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 It's a rain of semen. <laughs> I lose control. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Captain, yeah, what do you want to do? Callum is wasting spells left and right. <laughs> Did I lose the spell slot? I'm gonna. It's All gone. Right. It's gone. And David out. just got a bottle cap. I'm gonna <laughs> freak out. <laughs> Thanks, Troy. Oh, oh, benevolent David, may I swing with my vest claws? Uh, I guess. Yeah. You know. <laughs> Reluctantly. Um. Okay, oh, it's not miss. a bad roll. Now well, David see. is really pulling off, like kind of a hole GM at a con. Mm, you know, yeah. you're like you don't know the the GM and they're just like rule, slam you down, rule, slam you down. Like, can I just say like oh, I guess Why are you here? You clearly don't want to be here. No. <laughs> That's a twenty seven uh, to hit. Uh and he's still flat footed. Uh, doesn't matter, it's a hit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that is 25 points of damage. And Captain K regaining her uh, composure as the captain of the ship strikes down. Yes, Capitan. The poor custodian who was trapped in here when they all left, trapped and transformed over the centuries into the horrible, horrible abomination that you just had to put out of its misery. And the oh, mauve light fades away. <laughs> yes, the wisp just of, floats. Yeah. A, a lot of things went down there, but I, we didn't take a moment to talk about the fact that Tumsy, the Tumsy being ripped apart, right? Yeah. Like that, that got well, no, no, no. It, it never happened uh, because oh, okay. the creature could never have. No, the, 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 that's the parts. worst thing is not only does Sydney lose a spell slot. Tumsy was pulled through space and time uh, and ripped into, and it just had no effect. So you heard, oh no, what is happening to me? <laughs> and it had no effect. So she lost a spell slot and you destroyed uh, the dead. Yeah, and if, you lo- if, you, if you're paying attention, Callum is now like 
very confused as to why none of his spells worked. And he's like, oh, it was dead. The guy was dead, wasn't he? He was dead. <laughs> he turns to Frisk. He was dead. He was dead, wasn't he? <laughs> yes, he was dead all along. Wow. <laughs> all right. Well, mess that one up. How's everybody doing? <sighs> hey, Jack, oh, are you okay? <laughs> and Quala, like, blows on one of his thumbs <laughs> and, like, pops his, his shoulder back out that got crushed. He's like, oh, I'm okay, Dex. We need to continue to save the universe. Unless you want to check out this dumper first. <laughs> I'd like to examine the toilet. Yes, I thought you would, Dex. Can we take 20 and examine the, the toilet's contents thoroughly? Yes, it's just, it's overflowing with feces and urine. Freaking oh, new. I knew centuries, it, Matthew. Centuries knew old it. feces. Uh, it's, it's, a real, it's a real scene. It's a real whale penis of a situation. <laughs> you see it flubbing uh, out of the... <laughs> but yeah, you take, you take 20 in here and there's, there's nothing that you would ever want. <laughs> Wait, so this was this was just like a dumb trap that we yeah, could ignore? Yeah, it's just like, right. it just pulls you in here to fight before you get to the real room, which is the one to the south that you're trying to go to for Troy interrupted it. Yeah, yeah, he just lured us into this senseless combat to kill this yeah. poor guy who's been here for centuries. It's so stupid. I mean, it's just dumb because uh, you got to hit back plus eight. He's got a plus 23 to hit, but I rolled garbage. Uh, middling rolls, get it. And then you get to strangle. DC 21 fortitude. If you fail, it's 2d12 plus 20 damage. And then 1d4 oh. con damage as well. So, like, he just oh, has to, good. like, get someone and just strangle them for the three rounds that he survives because he's got, you know, a ton of hit points but and a very high AC. But, yeah, it's uh, shitty. It was a shitty, shitty encounter. I have a question, David. <laughs> yeah. You've played a lot of Starfinder. Uh, yeah. Around, around the, 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 the Starfinder water coolers, does, does anybody think CAC Plus 8 is dumb? Or is everybody like, that's a really great game design idea <laughs> well, to like, you just... really accurately reflect what a combat maneuver means and how difficult it is to pull off? Well, it's just that feet tax, though. You have to take like the improved grab, the improved bull rush to knock it down to CAC plus four. Then it becomes a little better. Some of the classes like Vanguard make it a little easier, but you have to build for it. Any mm -hmm. just like random character should not be doing it. In fact, even in my uh, notes for this room to Troy... I uh, said, oh, it's a plus 23, but you have to beat CAC plus 8. And in parentheses, it just says, ugh. <laughs> like, ugh, yeah. that sucks. Ugh. Yeah, like, why wouldn't this build for this monster have improved grapple? You know, just for the... I, yeah. There we it should. It, it, <laughs> it's it, just and, a This is actually the highest CR thing you've encountered so far. What? <laughs> really? oh, wow. Surprisingly. Well, it had a shit ton of hit points yeah. yeah yeah and a high ac um you know that's why linnea who normally hits everything missed in one round because if you just have those middling rolls they're not gonna hit two, but, two, uh, two rounds you, know, you guys um, uh you, well you it sure it. took a while i'll give it that yes <laughs> <laughs> well if, if anyone cares but um one of the things that i want linnea to do one day is to be able to grab someone because i i um i have improved grapple so what yeah you've never I, used I, it I know because it hasn't been a, like I haven't had the opportunity, but we'll see. But like because I, I I see this tall ass woman being able to like, and now now I found out that you only need to use one hand. Can you imagine her just pushing someone against the wall with one hand? Like uh, yeah, I'm That's living cool. through really my cool. fantasies through the <laughs> uh, Dax <laughs> would like to search the creature suit, just the pockets or anything, see if there's anything in there of interest. Sure. Um, it's wearing uh, Kishali Hollow Armor 2. <laughs> it functions as a squad hard li hard light series. Uh, and he also is carrying an ultra-thin dagger. Ooh. Ultra-thin we'll dagger. Ooh, yeah, indeed. that would have been nice. Plus 23 to hit for 4d4 plus 20 damage. Ooh. Nice. Uh, uh, but, you wow. know, it's like, do you want to strangle or do you want to do the dagger? I went for the strangle for that 2d12 plus 20. It's pretty sweet. Uh, I'll take the dagger unless somebody else wants it. Chris, yeah. or well, you already know you have Kishali ho Hollow Armor 2 is better than what you have or not. I don't know. It uh, It is only the two most expensive pieces of equipment you've found so far. So, you know, I'm sure Whoa. no one really wants it. Do you have, so skip it. Do you have the plus. <laughs> Uh, plus to EAC plus to KAC off the top of your head. I'm having trouble finding it. Uh, uh, I have it. Yeah. Uh, what, what is it, it is a. It is plus fifteen to EAC <laughs> plus fifteen to CAC. Oh, oh, like, oh, like. 
Yes, yeah. please. Four yeah. upgrade <laughs> slots. That's Jesus. hard light series quad. Mm. Uh, what was I'm the sure name of the armor? Hard light series squad. Hard light. Is it? It's heavy armor. No, oh. it's light. Oh. Yes. Wow. Oh my god. Yes, their janitors were well outfitted. Yeah. What's, mm-hmm. what's, what's it worth? called? Thin? Hard, hard, hard light. light. Hard light. Hard light. All one word. Series squad. Mm. That's worth 30,750 credits is level what? 12 armor. Wow. Oh, yeah. Can oh. we roll for it? Yes, please. You know, <laughs> a- after seeing all these uh, light armors be so amazing in this game, I feel just totally cheated having taken a heavy armor proficiency. But I'm still rolling on this <laughs> because screw it. Wow. All right. All right. I'm assuming AC. we're all rolling on this now. Okay. Yeah. Yay. Holy shit. Wow. Oh. Yeah, all the people it, in melee combat. Yep. Wow. If I get it, I'll be indestructible. <laughs> Guys, imagine. Tweener. What? Can I have your armor if you win it, Ellie? Your old armor? Yeah. Thank you. Well, you heard but, it here. It's marked in stone. Before we say our numbers, guys, I just want you to remember, do you, do you really want to see a naked boy running around? <laughs> do you want to let me have this armor cover up my bare butt? <laughs> Don't That's use fair. that. Argument. You could also put on clothes over <laughs> yeah, your you armor. Put no, clothes on no. Under. It's either you want Callum naked or you want him to have the armor. So let's all say our numbers. Please wear underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Does Linnea say that? Does Who Callum wins? hear it? Who wins? <laughs> uh, I rolled my third consecutive 18 for roll offs tonight. <gasps> I bet what? you're going to lose. I bet you're going to lose. I bet you there's a 19 sitting out there. I got a 19. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> but he got the other armor. <laughs> I know, but I just, I want this armor so that I could go, give me Burn your hard light. I just want to be able to sing that if <laughs> one, during this moment. But I will give you the armor, Joe. <laughs> then you throw it out into space. Yeah. Just for this moment. <laughs> <laughs> Open an airlock. I had my moment. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to sing the song and destroy it in front of Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Lights it on fire. I wanted to destroy something beautiful. I think Joe, you you won. I, I didn't get. I got a sixteen. Oh, yeah. sorry, Linnea. All right, I'll take it. But I got the I got the flight. Yes, right, you have the power of flight. Yep. O'Brien gets it. Callum, from where you're standing, I'll tell you right now, the door to the next room is open. Oh. Already, and you see, uh, just like a soft red glow that is blinking. Callum losing out on everything he's rolled for so far <laughs> in this session, kind of like like movie style, you know, from the back of him, you see the, the camera and he, he turns around, you see the light glowing on his face and he just starts like walking in that direction quietly away from everybody else, doesn't say anything, just walks towards the room and looks Callum. inside. Callum. 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 Callum, Callum, wait. Callum uh, walks towards the room. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. Don't go into the light. Callum I, walks directly into the light. <laughs> Callum I, walks directly I, into the light. Would I have time to catch up with Callum? Um, no, no, I do it quietly and you don't hear me. Yeah, okay. while you guys are fighting over the armor, Callum just walks forward. <laughs> Dex is so, popping a sulking. bottle of champagne. So, <laughs> woo! <laughs> Dejected and sulking. Callum's just walking Callum's down like, the hallway. <laughs> desperately trying to be relevant, Callum, and Callum walks towards the next room. <laughs> <laughs> I In called, a desperate bid for PC relevance. <laughs> I called him Calib. I was gonna say Caliban, like uh, from, <laughs> uh, Balaban from, from the Tempest, right? Oh, Isn't okay. Caliban. Caliban. Yeah. Caliban, yeah. Oh, I thought about something else. Caliban. Yeah, I know what you thought about whale penis. <laughs> you know they're you called dorks. Always on my mind. All right, looking in this room from the hallway, you see that it's dark except for a small red light blinking on a standby control panel on the far wall. Um, Let me see where you're standing. Yeah, dark except for this like blink, blink, blink from deep into the room, blink. And that's illuminating the rest of the room that just looks really cool. Blink. And nobody's in there. Blink, you don't see anybody. You see that things are dimly lit. That looks like there's these giant tubes or something in there. There's a control panel but it's too dark to see. I walk in. Right when you cross the threshold, the whole room lights up like uh, motion sensors. And you see 
now the full contents of the room. There are two clear surfaces covered in alien writing hanging on the walls near the door that you just walked through. The opposite end of, end of the room, computer terminal, still with that blinking red light. And then now that it's illuminated, you see these two opaque cylindrical fields of energy near the walls, each about 10 feet or so in diameter. What do you do? I think seeing the writing, like as soon as he walks in, when everything kind of lights up, it first catches his eye. Uh, he quickly casts um, Comprehend Languages and he does it instinctually. It's just like it happens and then he's reading the language automatically. Okay. Um, you read it and it's in uh, Kishalene, so you recognize it and now that you can comprehend it, you see that it's just like notes and formulae like from scientists. All sorts of uh, mechanical and mathematical formulae and uh, notes crossed out and again it just looks like a someone was trying to figure out a math like a math problem i think he's cautious he doesn't really know much this is more way more like friss's realm um but he wants to just quickly kind of walk up to the tube on the right side and and see if he can get a better look at like if there's something in there if it's just this energy okay um you look and the the energy is like it's it's moving. It's got this this uh, non-static quality to it, and you can't see beyond it. Mm. it feels weird about this room. I can't touch it. Right? It's like contained in a tube. Yeah, yeah. You can't quite touch it. I mean, you think maybe you could touch the electrical energy, but that wouldn't be smart. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, he's just going to say on the comms. Um, hey. Um, Dr. Friss, if you're not busy, I think I've found something that could be helpful. And Friss is kind of surprised. He's all caught up in the armor controversy. He's just like, oh, he's not here. And so Friss kind of like moves down the hall and comes through the door and marvels at this, uh, th all this writing all around him. So he does speak ancient Kishaline and uh, I'm going to make a, an attempt to try to understand what's been written here. Yeah, you go ahead and give me a life science or physical science, whatever you're better uh, at. Life science is good. Uh, that is a 40. Okay. It looks like the writing mainly references both gravitational equations and biological processes. The notes are unfinished, though. Like, they never quite figured out what they were trying to figure out. Now, you do remember... I can't remember where you got this information, but uh, one of the early computers you hacked into, it seemed like they were doing experiments here um, of the effects of gravi uh, gravitational pull on uh, biological things. So maybe this is where the majority of that research took place. There is a computer terminal at the back. Okay. Taking that in, he's going to move past Callum and up to the computer terminal. Do a perception check first to see uh, if there's any countermeasures. Oh. And that is a 33. 33. You do not see any countermeasures. Okay, I'm going to do a computer's check, 27. Okay, a couple things happen. As you access the computers, with the 27, you get two bits of information. One, you determ de determine that the cylinders of energy are acting as stasis fields for two living creatures. The second thing you determine is that the creatures within those stasis fields are large, monstrous humanoids with blade-like arms. Oh my god. The thing that happens that's bad is the second you get that information, swam, something was rigged, the stasis fields drop. Oh my god. 
and these two enormous insectile oh, crease just creatures just go. Oh. And we'll see you next week. Oh, oh, this is oh, between the two of them! I dare. Oh, oh, oh my god. Linnea would, have, Linnea would have looked for Callum. Please. You're gonna oh. get well penised. Oh. <laughs> oh. Not again. It's gonna be no. so bad. Not again. again. Oh, if only Linnea Not had again. done something. How if only Linnea had been there, Callum says. Linnea! Why? 